If you look at the top shops on Etsy, something you'll notice is that they didn't make their thousands of sales with just 40 listings. Most of these shops have hundreds, if not thousands of listings to get to where they are today. And I'd be willing to bet, just like my store, they've had to delete a lot of listings along the way that didn't perform. So they've probably put up even double the amount that you see in their store to figure out what works best for them. But you might be asking yourself, well, I only have a few hours per week to work on my print on demand business because I still work full time and have a family. How can I ever get that many listings up in my store? Well, we will be covering how to make a hundred designs in just one day in this video. Then I'll link a video down in the description for you to watch next on how to create 50 listings in one day so you can be making your listings as quickly and efficiently as possible with the little time that you have to grow your business. Here are the steps we're going to take in this video. Number one, we're going to find a great scalable design to create. If you don't know what a scalable design is, this is where you create a design template that you use over and over again with the same look of the design, but you just change the words that are in it. That way you can quickly and easily create tons of designs all at once. Step number two, I'll teach you how to actually create that design template in a really simple and easy way using my favorite design software, Canva. And then step number three of this video, I'll teach you how to bulk create all of your designs after you've made the template once using again, Canva. I do have a free trial for them down in the description if you want to go sign up if you haven't yet, that way you can follow along in this tutorial. And just a quick word from our sponsor today, which is me. I teach this in more detail along with so, so much more in my new course, the POD Roadmap. I'll link the details down below in the description. I took everything that I learned from running my mentorship group last year that helped my students grow their Etsy businesses to five figure and even six figure months in their print on demand business. And I rolled all of what worked for them into my new course that is completely self guided, but also comes with a free community for support where I answer your questions every single day. So you don't have to figure it all out by yourself. You'll have an exact Act, roadmap and plan so you always know what to do next. Again, the course will be linked below and feel free to email me if you have any questions. So let's jump into step number one, which is finding a good scalable design. For this video's example, I'm going to be using professions because if you're watching this in the spring when I release it, then the professions niche is such a hot niche to be in because of college graduations. These make great gifts. But if you're not into professions, you can also do things like hobbies, sports, and locations are all great examples of designs that you can create one template for and then turn it into 50 or 100 different designs depending on the different variations. One really fun way to get ideas for your scalable designs is by utilizing artificial intelligence. If you haven't used ChatGPT before, I'm going to show you how to use that right now. So go to chat.openai.com and create an account. This is a free artificial intelligence that you're able to use to help you come up with ideas quickly and easily. Now, it is important to know that this is not Google. This is artificial intelligence. So it's making things up for you based on other things that it's seen. So it is important to know that not everything it gives you will be factual. So you do need to fact check anything, but it can be a great resource to get ideas and get moving quickly. It also is not updated past 2021. So try not to ask it what's popular right now, because again, it'll just make something up. So it's a great place to come to get general information. So this is built to be a conversation. So it really wants you to ask it different questions. So I asked it, give me 50 professions that are popular so I can put them on a shirt, enter. And let's see what ChatGPT comes up with for us. You can see it's automatically giving us a giant list of different professions that are really popular in general. Once it comes up with this list, we do need to go to Etsy and make sure there's actually demand for this niche. You can make something that no one has already demand for on Etsy if you want, but one strategy I really like to follow is making sure you're creating designs for that people are already searching for to buy on Etsy. That way you can ensure that you are selling what people already want. 
So now it gave us our great list of 50 different professions. So this is an awesome list to start with, but again, you can ask ChatGPT for 50 different locations that are great for vacations. You can ask it for the top 50 hobbies. You can ask it anything, and it will give you so much great ideas that you can then go use in research on Etsy. So let's take number five, for example. Let's take lawyer, since I've actually sold quite a few lawyer things in my store before, so I know this is a good niche, but this is how it'll work for you. So you'll come over to Etsy and I want you to type in the niche that you're looking to sell. So in this example, I'll type in lawyer shirt. And we want to see if there's current designs that are selling really well on Etsy for this niche. To do that, you can search through the search results and see what's selling well. But I like to use the all filters button and click star seller so we can actually edit this to show you the best sellers. So click star seller and click apply. And then up here in the search bar, we can actually delete the word star and type in the word best. And this actually shows us the best seller feature that Etsy tried to get rid of, but we can still access it in this sneaky way after one of my commenters showed us how to do this. So thank you for that. So looking here, there's over 120 results that come up for best sellers for lawyer items. Not every single one of these is going to be a shirt, as you can see, but there are quite a few that are really, really popular. So looking through here, you see, it's me, hi, I'm the lawyer, it's me, born to argue, I don't need a good lawyer, I raised one, I'm billing you for this conversation. So it looks like there definitely is demand for this particular niche. And we want to look for a good way to scale out this design and others. So this one here gives me a really good idea that I don't need a good lawyer, I raised one. You could really easily take the word lawyer and change it out to any of those other professions and really quickly and easily have a winning design because we know that design is selling well in this niche, so it probably will sell well in those other niches that we saw for the different professions. That's the one I'm going to use for this example, but please don't all go copy this exact same one. I want you to do this exercise with a completely different saying. Trust me, there is tons to choose from. That way you can have something completely unique just to you. Now on to step two, actually creating your scalable design. One of the quickest and easiest ways that I like to create designs for these is going simple text only designs, but doing two different fonts together to add interest instead of that example we saw where it was just one blocky font. One of the easiest ways to do this, you can save time not looking for 20 or 30 minutes for two fonts that look good together, is by searching for font duos. One of my favorite places to get these is creativefabrica.com. This is a graphic and font website where you pay only $9 per month and you get unlimited downloads. So here you would come and type in font duo, and there's going to be lots of amazing fonts that you can choose where you get two different fonts that are already made to go together that you can use in your business to create your designs. For this example, I'm going to download this Pink Vibes font, and I'll show you how to actually download this font and upload it to Canva, where we'll be creating our design. There's a link down below for a free trial that'll give you 10 free downloads as well if you haven't tried this out yet. So go ahead and click download after using the link down below. Now let's come over to Canva to create our design. You'll hit create a design in the top right. Again, there's a free trial for them down below if you haven't used them yet. And here we want to create a custom size. So I'm going to type in 4,500 by 5,400 for our canvas size, since that is a good rectangle to create for a t-shirt design, but you can use whatever size you need for your items. This is going to open up a brand new canvas for us to design in. So what I want you to do to add that font is just to type the T button, that'll bring up a paragraph text, and you'll click up here on the text box where it says Canvas Sans, and you'll see down here a button that says Upload a Font. Here we can click this, and I want you to go open that Pink Vibes font duo or any font that you just downloaded from Creative Fabrica. So what you'll need to do is select both of the OTF files. So for me, it's this one here and this one here. That's the one that we need, the .otf. So select both of those. You can hit Command or Tab to select two at once and click Upload. 
You'll have to say you do have commercial rights to use these, which you do have the commercial rights to use any font on Creative Fabrica, but feel free to read through their license to make sure that you're familiar. So now we're actually going to create that design that we found for our scalable design example. So for this one, I changed it to the Pink Vibes Sans Regular for the blockier font. And I'm going to have it say, I don't need a, we're gonna make this a little bit larger, move that up to the top. So we want to think about this as it's a t-shirt and where we'd want this placed on the shirt. So think of this as the printing area and how you'd want it to fit across the chest. So I said, I don't need A, and then I'm going to copy this because I want this one to be cursive. I'm gonna use the second font style that we saw there. So in their example, it was good lawyer. And then we're going to change this oops, to the cursive version. And then we're gonna copy this again and bring it down here. You say, I raised one. So this adds a different kind of fun, handwritten type style to it versus the really blocky look that the other one had. So this would be a great gift for a mom to give her for Mother's Day even, or to buy for herself to wear to their kid's graduation. Just a super cute shirt idea. You can leave this all black and put it on lots of different shirt colors. Trust me, simple does sell, but you can also make these colored fonts if you want. But just know to use the bulk scaling method, the part that we're going to be editing and changing, which is going to be this good lawyer line, you can't do the every other color for like you can with a lot of things. So you could do, I don't need A, and you could change all of these to different colors if you wanted, but the part that you're bulk editing needs to be one solid color. So just something good to know there. So now that we've kind of given this a fun look, let's go into actually creating the document to scale out this design. And trust me, this is where the magic happens. So come back over to ChatGPT and you're going to copy all of the different ideas that they gave you to create your design with. So I'll do Control C or Command C to copy all these examples. Then I want you to go to sheets.google.com and start a new blank document. So here we're going to create a document that's going to tell Canva how to bulk upload all of our designs. So I'll paste that into this, and now we have our list of 50 different professions. Again, you'd wanna go through and decide if you actually want to create each of these, and if each of these actually makes sense with your design template. Make sure there is demand, however you like, and then you need to actually change the words to this depending on what you're doing for your design. So again, my design, I wanted to say good lawyer, good doctor, good engineer. And so to bulk edit all of that, I need to add the word good before all of these words. So I'll go do that really quickly right now. Once you've finished getting your document ready for exactly the words that you want replaced in your design, you'll go to File, Download, and then Comma Separated Values or a .csv file and have this saved to your computer. So then that brings us to step number three, which is bulk creating your designs within Canva. Again, this is where the magic really happens. If this seems complicated so far, don't worry, it'll all make sense in a second. So you want to select the word that we're going to be replacing, which in my case is good lawyer, and then you need to come down here to bulk create. If you've never used this before, you'll need to go into the apps section here on the left, and you can type in bulk create, but if you've ever used it before it actually won't show up it'll be down here on the left somewhere so the next time you use it make sure you're looking for it in the apps section instead of searching for it in the apps it's going to be in one of those two spots for you so click bulk create and here you can either enter the data manually or you can now upload that csv file that you just created so now that we have that uploaded, you need to right click on the words you're wanting to replace and come down to connect data. And here now you see that file we just uploaded that says good doctor because that was the first line. And look at that super cute design that I just created since this file comes with some extra cute little font glyphs like that. 
So then you'll click continue and it's going to ask you, do you want me to create all of these? And you'll say, yes, generate all 49 pages. Now, if you have pop-up windows blocked, then you will have to go up to your URL and unblock this pop-up because it wants to open in a new document, not the one that you were just in. So it looks like this one, when I bulk created it, it took away the little font glyphs, the little swirlies at the end, which I'll show you how you can re-add those back in, but it would be a manual process for each one if you wanted to do that. But you can see now it created all of the designs for me, and I can just go ahead and go to share, download, transparent background, all 49 pages and download them. And just that quick, I have that many gorgeous designs. But you do want to scroll through each one to make sure that they make sense, as sometimes things are longer than others and don't fit on one line. So sometimes you'll have to come through and edit these slightly, but all of these look like they turned out perfect. So I have two bonus tips for you. The first is how to add those little swirls. So to do that, you'd come back to Creative Fabrica and go to Tools and come down here to Font Cloud. Go to Open Font Cloud and here you want to upload that same font. So go to Browse and you'll upload that exact same font just like you did in Canva, the .otf file for Pink Vibes. Once you upload that, you'll click on the pink vibes and you can scroll down to the bottom for the little glyphs that have the little curlies with the hearts. You could add this one in between, for instance. So if you click it, it copies it to your clipboard. We'll come back to Canva and then you can delete the space in between and paste that. And you could have a cute little heart in the middle or you could come back here and grab the little cute heart that put at the beginning or a little swirl, whatever you like. And you can add that to the beginning or the ends of your words to create a cute little extra design. So there's a lot of fonts on Creative Fabrica that have these extra little pieces and that's exactly how you use them. And then bonus tip number two is to create a custom listing with this as well. Because I find when I have these scalable designs with lots of different professions, hobbies, locations, or different interests, that I get a lot of custom requests to do a different word. So it's nice to have a listing that's already ready for those custom orders. So you'd say, I don't need a good custom, I raised one. And then you'd create a listing just like normal, but have it be custom. And if you don't know how to do a custom listing, I will put my custom listing tutorial down in the description below, because trust me, this one has made me so much money. And just like that, you've created 50 designs in just a few moments. So then all you need to do is go find another scalable design that you can use for those exact same professions and then create one again. And in no time, you'll have 100 designs to upload. And the best bonus is that you can use the exact same SEO for both designs for the same profession. So for the doctor one, you'll create one title and tags for the doctor and be able to use that for both designs that you create. So it'll be super simple and easy to get these knocked out when you go to list them. Again, I will put the video next for you to watch on how to create 50 listings in a day to complete this whole process to make it simple and efficient for you to get more listings in your store in less time. And please take a moment to like this video and subscribe if you enjoyed this tutorial and want to see more no fluff tutorials like this in the future with Etsy and print on demand. And as always, thank you so much for staying all the way until the end and I'll see you in the next one.